Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fix it. Short-term solutions to long-term problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Deploying backup parachute. Skipping parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Touchdown. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Hello everyone! Welcome! It's been almost a year since I've uploaded, and we are back with some satisfactory. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive Planetfall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. And we are back with the game fully released. It's gold, 1.0, out. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Of early access. Use the fix it procedure and equip the fix it ink Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Next object. The drop pod will be recycled. Next objective. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. All right, there's quite a few over here. And over there. We're going to go by where the 400 is. We are playing... Oh man, it's been almost a year since I've uploaded. And I wanted to get started again about a month ago. And that's when I found out the game was going gold. And I had to wait until the full release. I, I wanted to start early. I did. But I figured I would just wait till... We're actually fully released gold. This is the golden playthrough. The gold, golden factory is what I named the save. This is what the series is going to be called. This is what we're doing. Whoa. All right. You know what? Photo op. Oh, no. No photo op. Not yet. Okay. I got to get down. How do I get down? I did not choose the easy beginning point, nor did I pick the desert, which is also another easy beginning point. I picked the third one. I forget what the what it's called. I think it's the Northern Plains or something like that. Oh, no, thank you. And I figured I would just wait until we were fully released. That way there would be no... Hello. Sort of compatibility issues with the worlds transferring over to full 
1.0 release. This thing is chasing me. We're going to have to take care of it. Come on. And I did notice it said you are the third to have made landfall. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Um, it said that, and I mean, that would actually be very accurate. I've never noticed that. The last time I tried to play, I did record play a little bit. And then found out the game was going gold, so I decided to just wait. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Um. So let's put the hub here, I guess. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. We are going back through the tutorial. It is very tedious, but this has been updated. This looks nice. Just need 10 rods. Make that real quick. Now this is tedious, but I figured this would get us a good start to the game. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix-it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 2. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot more iron, so let's just go ahead and get it. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and... Do all this manual smelting. This is fun. The beginning is fun and tedious, and I'm looking to be back. I've got a lot of things going on, but I am looking to come back. I wanted to come back. It's been like a year. We're just constantly trying to figure out how to do this. And I'm motivated now. The game is fully released. I don't think I have any less motivation as needed. And we'll just make the rest of those. That was down and equipment store shop workshop. This make that make that. And now we can put it down. Inventory. Oh, there's achievements now. Nice! That's exciting, actually. Finally have some achievements for this game. Alright, let's figure out what our next upgrade is. Almost enough. That's so much already. So much. I suppose we could just put that in storage for now. But yeah, I think we're just going to play through this just like how we were before. Kind of just record everything as we go. I don't think I want to edit down a bunch of dead space because this game is kind of... A lot of building in itself. It's probably a better game to stream. But so be it. Alright, there's enough for that. What? 
I thought I had enough. I don't have enough at all. Okay. My bad. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective. Yearly bonus? Hub upgrade three. All right, so we need to find copper. And it would be up, wouldn't it? Let's put this back in our hand. And... Yep. At least it's not too far. I guess maybe putting the hub more in the center would be beneficial. That way it comes through equally. And let's grab a bunch just because we'd have to run back over here. Alright, that should be good for now. Can we mark it yet? We can't. Because we don't have a map. Ugh. Can I take my photo? Yes, I can. And pow. Oh, crap. Might have to do a little something there. Grab that. And let's see. Let's just make enough to make enough to get the smelter going so the smelter can do all the work. Actually, let's double that. Two smelters, which we'll just slap them. I don't know. Right here. It's fine. What do we need now? We need some cable. Oh. Great. Can I use one at a time right now? They're lovely. Alright. Well, it is what it is. Alright. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll just manually do the copper for now. And we'll get another uh, portable miner made. That so way we can get the copper portable miner set down. But we'll do this all by hand because we need to get concrete before we can put down any poles. It's a lot of memory. That's also why I need to do this. So we'll just do some manual iron at the same time, kind of double up. Alright, 
What are we looking at? Got more done, right? Damn. Okay. Doing all right. Some more plates. Let's get a portable miner. Let's run back. Get the copper going. Collect a bunch of leaves as we go. Because it don't hurt. Can we go around this way? Oh my god. That's easy. Okay. I did not realize we could just run this way. Alright, we're going to have to find a place because before the update... I knew exactly where I was at. I liked it. Now I don't know anything. Well, I didn't know exactly where I was at, but I liked where I was at. Let's put it that way. Alright, let's grab... This, drop that in there. And let's grab that. Grab leaves. And... We have a bunch of plates. Let's make some rods. Plenty of rods. Alright. The magic of editing is amazing because you guys don't even know. Well, you'll know now. Now that I say it, it's actually a completely new different day. Uh -huh. Alright. Uh, I gotta remember what we were doing, though. See, we got enough of that, we have enough of that, we have enough of that. I had to... Hub upgrade three. Interior Just... furnishing completed. Ooh, Various character customization. Simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, Fix-It's dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that Fixit pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. Why am I... this is cool, but why... I'm a woman. I, I can tell. <laughs> Why? Oh, golden. Okay, we'll wear that. I'll leave everything else. Cool. Uh, what do we do now? Next upgrade. We need concrete for. I guess we should scan to see where limestone is. Can I even get up there? Right here is perfect if I can get up here. And 
and we can. Alright. We got a constructor. We got power poles. So we need to get a ton of parts made. All right, we are now able to automate a little bit more. See if we can get a portable miner made. I guess I should have just made that when I found it. Alright, so we can go ahead and put the portable miner down. It'll fill it up. And it looks like if there's coal around here at least have a water source. Oh, inventory there, there. Welcome back. All right, so we don't have storage yet, and we don't have, but we can think I need more cable and we don't have cop per no we don't Oh, this is so much easier to run than going all around the forest. I mean, at least we have all three resources right here. That's going to make it a little bit easier. The annoying thing is going to be needing to make the... The what's a hickeys in there let's make it that let's go grab this because it's probably done because they're pure and they fill up quick and i wasn't lying. all right oh Why is it not doing it? Oh. Alright, this is going to be the fun part because we need to... Let's... Can I get rid of this? Okay, whatever. I'm going to need some RIP. It's great. So we're going to need one... I don't want to worry about that just yet, because i got to think about it. Actually, yeah, we're going to need that. At least one, maybe two. All right, reinforce plates. I forget what we need. We need screws, screws need rods, rods need ingots. 
Everything becomes easier once we get past this tutorial thing and we have the splitters and all that crap. I want to be able to make four of these. Pretty sure that's enough there. Oh, that's not what I want. This one. Okay. Right, let's make four reinforced iron plates. We'll get the cable. I was like, why am I not seeing it? Oh, we're going to get a lot of cable. A lot of cable. We'll just make them all. Oh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and do the concrete while we have it. We'll get more. We'll get more iron plates going. Might need more. Right, right, right. Now let's go pick up. If we have enough, we should do the upgrade because we might get. Well, we'll definitely get things that we could probably utilize. Alright, did I make enough of everything? No. Not at all. Okay. that in there, this and uh, here, take that, put down, oh, we can't make belts yet, <laughs> interesting, okay, Why do I still have so much? Okay, let's go ahead and just... Hub upgrade 4, landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade 5. I don't think we got the belts yet, though. Can't, did we? I wish I could leave this and...
make enough wire, yes we can. This is the fun beginning. That's enough. I think we have enough. Biomass Power space upgraded. elevator. Power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. function. Have belts As now. Expand, the energy demand Tainers. may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planet fall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. I see they added some humor. Some humor. We're going to get the concrete because we're going to need it. And because this is the most annoying one, we'll probably put down the miner there first. But we will need... Quite a bit of plates. So it might be beneficial to what happened? Oh, we have the second uh, capacitor capacity. I think what we should do is get some belts made. Let's make some plates. I don't know how many we need, but that should be enough. Alright, let's go with this one to there. This there. And put some power. We'll connect that there. And let's go ahead and. Doesn't matter. And we'll put this onto wire. about a, a storage spot just yet because I have intentions of moving the hub to another location because we're gonna need this area let's go ahead and let's make concrete Create some wire because we're gonna need cable. Do it by hand because why not?
Okay, we're gonna need a a constructor as well. So we're gonna need another Did it run out of power or did it die? Hey, look at that. Fix the blown fuse achievement. I know you guys can't see it, but it's there. And it's going to all be temporary. Might actually have to move here sooner than later. Um. Hmm. Let's see, we can go ahead and put down the very minimum this one because this one's the more annoying one to run to where is the Oh, I don't know if we're going to have enough of this. If we can at least get it too steep. Too steep. Oh, and we're not going to get... Uh, okay. And we'll put this down the other way. And probably definitely not have enough. Oh, I don't want clipping. It looks like garbage. I suppose this is all temporary. And I don't have enough plates, as I figured. Probably start putting this in my hot bar so it makes it easier. like to try oh, 
120 per minute. Oh my god. That's so many. That is so much. Is that even on? All right, we need to put down the constructor. And we're out of cable. <laughs> Lovely. It's so it's such a mess. Such a mess. Alright. Some more cable made. Alright, let's put this down in the damn keypad. But it can't move 120. That's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and. can make this pretty at another time. We don't have enough plates. We're probably getting closer to not having enough leaves. Do flowers not exist anymore? I feel like I haven't seen flowers. Running through it. It's all right. It's going to back up, I think. Until we have Mark II belts, we're able to split everything. Even 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 then, we can't do anything without a Mark II belt because it won't be able to come out of the Mark. Ain't great. Something like that.
All right, let's make everything by hand right now that we can. We have enough wire. We have almost enough concrete. We'll just make it all for now. And we need more rods, which we need iron, copper, iron, iron, eh, iron ingots. Which I think I just have to take from here. Here. Okay, that will make enough. Plates. Plates are being made. All right. Okay. Let. Hopefully, there's enough plates. Not yet. Well, let's go ahead and dump everything into here. And while we're out, we'll pick some leaves. And I want to scout a little bit. And see if I can find a better location for the hub, like our main area. I don't want to be too far, but I know I'm going to need probably a lot of that space right there to properly, I don't know, factorize it. There's like natural road right here, too. Oh, I don't have my... I don't have my thing. They coming after me? Where you going, dude? You tuffle. All right. Um, this feels like a roadway, like a great place for roads to be built. River. This is so far away. We're just going to keep grabbing. are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for future analysis, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. There's materials here. Supercomputer. there more? Probably more. 
Yeah, not even seeing it. What if we put the hub right here? I could... What? Oh, a slug. This semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fixit production line efficiency. Store this potential resource for later use. Yeah, we could put it up here, and then if we can pipe up stuff if we need it. Alright, let's go ahead, let's get down. No problem. Ugh. I don't know why I didn't click it from over there. Oh, but we have to automatically hand fill biomass burners. Because <laughs> it would have been nice to just have up by the hub two chests where we could dump the leaves and wood into. But we'd still have to manually put them into the biomass burners when we build that. That's it! We completed onboarding. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. <laughs> we might want to get the obstacle clearing so we can get the chainsaw and the solid biofuel. Don't need to worry about that yet. Not really worried about that. We'll get through all this. So let's get the obstacle clearing done first so we can get the chainsaw. Hopefully. Um, we need screws. We need screws. We need screws. We need screws. Screws, screws, screws. We need wire, copper. We have plenty of concrete going. Let's make 100 wire. We should have enough to make that. And we have enough to make enough screws, too. So I just want to get the chainsaw so we can easily collect everything that we need. Alright, that should be enough. Let the screws do its thing. And then after this... We got to get the... Our first power plant up, I think. Oh lord, that's going to take forever, isn't it? 
All right. Um, let's see. We can let things happen as they need. And I think what we should do... Is... Oh, can't move the hub. Oh, damn. Power biomass burners. How many am I going to want? I think eight should do. Storage containers. Wait, can you make multiple hubs now? No. No, 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 no. Don't play with me. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Alright, let's try to figure out where we're going to put down the beautiful biomass burners, power factory, the bio factory. I would like it somewhere easily accessible. I could What I could do is I could build it up here behind the hub right off the back but the whole construction can still be done down here and then just repiped up here so I could drop everything off and then repipe it up. I'm gonna run into a storage facility issue. Maybe this isn't a good spot. I know once I get foundations, all this terrain and leveling isn't gonna be as big of an issue. Yeah, maybe right here would be good for a hub. Let's see, what do we got over here? That looks like a roadway. Good spot for a road. So we need to venture out. We can put the... Right here. That should work. That should work. We're going to need foundations, though. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this very first episode. I wanted this to go up on the on the 10th, but I couldn't because I started too late. But this will be up hopefully this evening, and we'll get back into a good uploading schedule. Hopefully, i got to figure that out. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. Welcome to the Gold Factory. Golden Factory. I need to remember that's how I'm pronouncing it. Golden Factory. And until we return, guys, I will see you later.